Okay, so on to the next one in Ghaza's Rhythm Riot series, man. It's a custom series that we are doing for uh, Ghaza Ghej. It's really cool. It's a product that I am offering on the Sphere where we do a thematic treatment uh, for you. We create a specific series for you with all of the artwork and all the bits and pieces custom designed for you as well. And that will stand out and be your own um, on YouTube and have its own playlist and spot in the Sphere. For more information, you can just click the link down in the pinned comment. Um, it's very cool. It's 15 to 17 reactions. I take anything between 15 and 17 reactions. I usually give one or two extra. Uh, this one is 17 uh, reactions in this series. And it lands up being uh, more value for money for you guys. So um, for those who are interested, obviously, um, you guys can go take a look. It lands up being actually more value with more money than if you're ordering a lot of Skip the Line reactions. Um, this one actually happens to be, um, I feel, better value for money. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Paris Jackson, man. Eyelids featuring Andy. Andy Hull. Never heard this. I have heard Paris Jackson before. We have reacted to Paris Jackson before. She's a very beautiful girl, uh, Michael Jackson's daughter. Um, but uh, And she's actually an okay artist. I think, think she's, uh, she's not bad. So let's see what she's got over here. Something new. Let's go. I think if you just tear your heart out, you'd probably achieve all the other things that you that you wanted to achieve, right? You don't have to cut your eyelids, and if you're going to do all of that, just taking your heart out will probably stop all of that, <laughs> okay? From a semantic perspective, but I, I could see this uh, song of heart of uh, hurt and pain. I see where she's going. She's a strikingly beautiful girl, though. Strikingly beautiful. Tongue out, cause I don't want to taste you no more. Break my fingers so your song can come out of my bones. Tear my heart out so the feel of that memory's gone. Now I don't know your name. Wouldn't matter if I did anymore mm. Now I don't know your name I'm afraid of what's under the floor Took your memory Took a few other things from the shelf it's a beautiful song, man. You can actually, for me, it kind of feels like this is about a relationship. But over here where she says, like, I don't know your name anymore. It's almost like I don't know who you are. You're a different person, essentially. Or she's speaking about somebody that she hasn't particularly met. But I think it's like a past relationship where I kind of feel like she just wants to erase it all. Like she can't handle her past relationship. She can't handle the pain. She can't handle the struggle. Right, and she literally just wants to control, alt, delete that entire that entire part of her life, essentially. But again, songs like this, you're always gonna get, you're always gonna get that piano, man. That's gonna tug on those heartstrings. Let's go. Took your memory, took a few other things from the shelf. Um, a habit. Now I don't know. 
I actually kind of feel like if we're talking about a relationship over here, I don't know. I mean, it can swing both ways, essentially, where you can talk about, you know, he's talking about himself, essentially. But the way I'm actually also possibly interpreting this is that it's actually her own conscious, her subconscious that's actually speaking to her um, as well, where she says, like, I'm a habit, right? And it's like you struggle to handle with that habit. So you look at it, it's like, I don't know what your name is. And it's almost like you're battling with yourself essentially battling with yourself in the mirror battling with yourself in your life so it can be that she's actually speaking about someone in particular but i think it actually lends better into that voice in your head right that you know sometimes you, you look at yourself and you look at the things that you've done and you look at why you've done them and you don't know why you've done it it's almost like somebody else took control it was like it, it was a habitual thing that you had no control of Right, and it almost feels like there was a devil to a certain degree, or there's a demon to a certain degree that was controlling you, and all through insecurity and all through um, your 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 um, your pain of the past and things like that. I'm not entirely sure. I think I guess it could go to both dichotomies, but I'm not entirely sure. Please forgive me. I was found, but I lost it again. Now I. Such an epic shot. I don't know your name. I love the shot. I think this shot is so fantastic. It's it's it almost feels like a shot that should be double exposed into something, right? Whether it be an environment to a certain degree. Um I, like if you actually take this shot and then you just double expose it into something, it would just look insane, insane, insane. Like like different sort of uh um, habitat specific, specific, uh, uh, specifically speaking of like the, 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 the places that they're in psychologically you know if you had to kind of put him in in like a burning forest and then you put her in a I don't know in like a lonely town but you you double impose that you're right? actually into the actual graphic it would look absolutely amazing I love this shot great cinematography yeah Deep, it's intense. I'm afraid that I'm more than before. I don't know your name. Wouldn't matter if I did anymore. I don't know your name. I'm afraid that I'm more than Beautiful though, wow. She really is. UMG Records! About to copy claim this. Guaranteed. That is a beautiful song, right? I wonder why Paris Jackson isn't sort of more mainstream. If you actually think about all the other artists that are out there. Uh, and you just think about her name, her lineage, essentially. You'd think that, you know, she'd be, pu be pushing out into uh, the radio waves um, a hell of a lot more um, than, than she is. Like, I don't hear of Paris Jackson at all in the, in the, the mainstream or on radios. I, mean, I don't think I ever have to a certain degree. The only reason, the only way I'm listening to uh, Paris Jackson is because you, you guys are requesting her. But it's not like she's really prominent at, at all. And I feel like she should be, maybe because she's making she's making music that is just of a, a higher quality. I think lower quality music just goes through the mainstream. So I kind of feel like maybe her music's too good to be commercialized. You know what I mean? Maybe her music is too real to be commercialized, right? It doesn't uh, uh, um, screw enough people up. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, anyway, uh, I actually really love this. I love this. And I always say she is absolutely beautiful. She's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Uh, really, really like strikingly beautiful. It's one of those, um, like you, you, you'll see her in public and she just, she'll catch your eye instantaneously. She, she really is a showstopper. But enough about that. <laughs> let's, let, let's not, let's not go too far in case somebody, somebody watches my, my reaction. I love you all. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Lots more to come. Peace.